Hello everyone and welcome to another review. So, if you tend to abide by the mantra that life is too short, then this Audi RS3 is the car for you because this hyper sporty sedan is just excellent in every way. So, in today's video, we're going to be finding out everything in detail about this very yellow Audi RS3. So, let's begin from the front. So, the color that you see is called as the Python yellow metallic and you really have to see this color in person because it looks absolutely amazing. It's especially with this black option because everything just makes it so much more aggressive in terms of its appearance especially the black and the yellow there's also the green red option and the gray the anthracite gray option that is also available on this one so i've also did a review of the audi rs q3 in that kyalami green color so you can click on the bubble banner out there you can watch that one that color also looks absolutely gorgeous and very in your eye so let's start from the front you get this optional black pack on this one which you get so which is why this grill is completely black and i suggest that you go for this one so this will actually look a proper tool after that so the audi rings in black out here the rs3 in black as well big huge grill out here with that continues onto the side lights and at the bottom again more grills which are given on either side and then there are also vents which are given out here and also on the side they actually are functional vents so they channel air around at the bottom yellow color bumper that continues and the whole addition of these vents and all makes the whole bumper also look so much more sportier when it comes to these lights these are the matrix led headlight cluster they are dynamic they are adaptive then there is also the drs which is out here and at the bottom and then this bottom bit that you see on the corner when you start the car it actually projects the rs3 logo animated one so even that's a cool thing that you can show it off to your friends and the top bit also is the turn signal it gets converted into that which is the adaptive turn signal and inside that there is one of the most best engines that you will find which is a 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder engine which we're going to come to that when you go for a drive now on this particular audi rs3 there are quite a lot of optional extras which i am going to be explaining as and when i come around so but an optional extra that is not on this but it is as a standard are these rims which are the 19 inch black color alloy rims in this white and gray printed design i mean i have never seen any better wheels than these these look absolutely amazing let me know in the comment section below because they really fit with this car especially with this color um, yeah these these and inside you would find the rs brake calipers which is again an optional extra the red one that you get and audi has been so focused on perf the performance so in the front there are wider tires than in the rear usually you would find the rear to be wider but here you have 265 by 30 by our 19 inch tires and in the back you have 245 by 35 and 19 inch rims in the back as well and on the top you would find a black color roof which is again an optional extra around the windows you would find black color surrounds as well and when you come to this side mirror this is a power foldable side mirror which is also power adjustable there is also a blind spot warning in the corner on the inside there is also an led light turn signals that has been given incorporated inside this mirror as well and this is again a black color mirror which is again an optional extra at the bottom more black color bits on the side there are lots of skirtings that have been given this is in black and yellow so that black bit is again optional extra even in the bag you would see a small carbon fiber spoiler which is again an optional extra but all these actually add to the look of the car because they genuinely make it feel so much more aggressive you also get the adaptive suspensions on this one and when you come to these doors these are the smart keyless entry door handles and not just in the front but also inside in the back and the door sills also have the rs badging which is embossed with the lights that have been given in the frames itself and there is also an rs badging that projects at night when you open the door from these side door mirrors and there is also this bit of vent that has been given it's not actually a vent but it's more like a fake plastic trim to make the the fenders look a lot more sportier and because this rs3 is actually a lot more wider than the a3 which is the standard model that it is based on and also it is slightly longer as well so it's just longer by 35 millimeters but that helps to improve a little bit of space on the inside as well now in the back you get the led tail light cluster complete led 
tail light cluster with the turn signals again in this one as well as i mentioned this optional extra carbon fiber spoiler and again optional extra these rs3 badging and the audi badging in the black and even more extra optional extras that have been given out here which is this black color bumper design that has been given at the bottom again more black color glossy design and it all makes the rear end bumper also look pretty aggressive you may think this these are the vents but no this is just the design part like in this honeycomb structure that has been given and the bottom of that you would notice two real exhaust tips and not just that inside of that you would have two more actual exhaust tips so this is actually a quad exhaust tip hiding in dual exhaust tips and again this is a five cylinder engine and the sound of it is amazing there are lots of pops and crackles and bangs and all of that that you will hear when you go for a drive now when you come to the visibility it's actually all right again it's the same as the s3 or the a3 so it's slightly limited on the lower end but otherwise it's pretty clear to look at from the rear view mirror now in terms of the boot space when the rear seats are up you can put 335 liters of luggage which is kind of average in terms of the the size of it but yeah overall it's pretty even there are also a few more tying points which are given and also there's this net if you want to put your luggage and put it in place you can use that as well that has been given and at the bottom of this boot floor there is a battery instead of a tire so and not just that there's also a tire repair kit that has been provided with the car so in case your tire goes flat so the reason that there is no spare wheel is because the rear and the front tires are different so which one would they give you so that's the reason instead they've given you a puncture kit so there are also scuff plates that are given out here and there is a bit of a step in here so yeah loading a luggage in and out is gonna be a little bit of a hassle because there's a step here there's also a bit of a pocket storage out here along with the 12 volt power socket and as i mentioned tying points now the rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 is to 40 and you can fold them down from here so i'm just gonna fold one of the seats and show you like this so when the rear seats are folded down you can put like longer objects that way but not taller objects because it's more rectangular and squished a little bit so yeah if you have any longer objects fold down the seats and you can put a lot more and the space itself is a little sloping that way on the inside when you fold down the seats so yeah the objects are going to be requiring a little bit of a push when you shove them inside but nonetheless there is the option to fold down the rear seats as well now let's go into the interior and check out what's all that has been given on this rs3 now interior is pretty much similar to the s3 but there are few more changes that are given out here and there are also some more optional upgrades that are given on this one although i'm pretty excited to get you onto the drive part but yeah let's finish the interior first so coming to the quality you get soft touch material squishy ones on the dashboard even out here and then these two ac vents which are sticking out on the driver's side on the door cars again soft touch material and then there is plastic bit in between like right in the middle and there's also a bit of you know suede material that has been given we're going to be testing hand that is also again soft touch at the bottom it's all plastic materials and even out here there is normal plastic out here glossy plastic where the gear shifter is and the buttons and everything is just normal plastic around the infotainment screen there is glossy plastic and the infotainment screen is also pretty flush with the dashboard so when it's off it's like there is no infotainment screen just doesn't exist like that so there is also plastic around these cup holders where you're going to be resting hand again the hand rest is soft touch out here you get this quattro badging in this plastic trim that has been given it's meant to look like carbon fiber again that is also in plastic at the bottom plastic there are also mood lights which are given out here in both the door cards in the front and also in the back there are also mood lights in the footwell as well so lots of lights and stuff that are given also pretty cool you know handle that has been given to open the doors overall yes the material quality is like a mix match in that way but yeah it's more about the performance and then the day-to-day -day, you know usage as well of the car which is why the mixture of all these materials now when you come to the driver's display you get this big driver's display on this one the, the let me come first that you know all the 
Audi interiors are nearly identical, pretty much same. In fact, even the last car which I reviewed was the e-tron Sportback S. Even that had exactly identical in the interior. So you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch the detailed review video of the Audi e-tron Sportback S, which is an electric car. So if you fancy buying an electric car, you should definitely check that video out. So continuing, you get a driver's display out here, colorful display, and the screen can do so much things in there. So traditionally you will get to see these dials on both the sides and then you can change the setup of these dials as well when you go into the setting and then the display options and then you have the audi virtual cockpit which is what this is called so then you have the rs port this is the default one then the rs performance when you change to that the the center of the dials and everything changes and then there is the rs runway option in which you will have this vertical you know die, uh, the rpm meter and in the center digital speed that's the most sportiest one and which is also activated when you go into the rs mode which i'm going to come to that as well so yeah you can change that and you can even customize the different options on the left side which are given on these dials so you can see your consumption fill level average speed you can change all of that from here and see what information you want on these dials so that's the dial speed now in the center there's also information where you will see by default date and time then there is the fuel consumption your instant fuel consumption short term memory your long term memory and then you can go swipe to the right and then you will see your media option there is the phone option then there is the navigation option and then again even in the navigation you have more options where you can map your destination last favorite all of that that you can change from here so all this stuff has been given and not just that you when you come to your main the the screen which shows all your vehicle information when you press that button on the steering wheel you can even see your trip computer your sports display so it shows your g meter and everything and then there's also the lap time so this car can even lap your you can lap yourself on the on the track itself so it will count first lap and then show you the difference then the lap statistics also that can be seen then you can even measure the acceleration from basically 0 to 100 0 to 200 or a quarter mile or a half mile you can do all of that from here on this audi rs3 so lots of things that you can do so yeah by default you can just leave it in the trip uh, computer so every day that's the more basic mode that you will use one more th button that has been given is the view button so when you press that the dials become smaller and the information is bigger but my favorite is the navigation when you press that the navigation screen becomes the biggest and the dials are small now when you come to the steering wheel this is a leather cover fully perforated steering wheel which is a half bottom sporty one and there is also an rs badging at the bottom and the steering wheel is rather very nice and sporty and very easy to grip there's good amount of thumb support as well and in the back there are also paddle shifters which are given out here those are the plastic ones which are given but nonetheless the quality of it is very nice and the steering wheel is also adjustable tilt and telescopic both so you can get the right setting especially if you're going to be tracking this car then this is what you need and there are buttons which are given on either side of the steering wheel so on the right side you would find the buttons for your media and also all the communication controls and everything to answer your phone and everything and there's also an rs button which is like a shortcut button to go into the different drive modes so you can switch on to two special driving modes which is your rs individual mode and also the rs performance mode and you can even customize those two modes from the infotainment screen you can press that and your driver's display would obviously change into those different modes as well so that is for your quick switch to the rs mode which is really nice this is the the best button that you will be using all the time and on the left side you have the controls for all your drivers display and everything there's also a star button which has been given so when you press that star button you can long press it and customize to switch to your voice guidance navigation traffic announcement radio or your current you know voice guidance all of that that you can customize this button to perform for you so that's your steering wheel and everything that it can do on this rs3 now when you come to the air conditioning controls straightforward button operated air conditioning system has been given and i'm glad that this is still the same instead of you know going to the touch screen and you know making it unnecessary complicated so straightforward buttons are given so you have an on and off button first and then when in the center you can switch from your ac off so you can just leave it in the fan speed to on then eco and the maximum mode and on either side you would find the buttons for your temperature control so you get tri-zone air conditioning system on this rs3 it's an optional extra that has been given but otherwise you get dual zone air conditioning system on this rs3 when you come to the 
infotainment screen this is a 10.1 inch infotainment system that has been given again this is pretty much standard across all the audi models even in the s3 sport back as well in fact i did a detailed review of that as well so you can click on the bumper banner out here and you can watch the detailed review video of the s3 sport back so that you can watch or if you're going to continue here then yes this is your infotainment screen where you will find the color coded options at first you have the widget options so the widgets are also customizable you long press and you can adjust that as well and not just that when you swipe and you go into the main screen and it's also pretty snappy that way so it's kind of all right and you have the color coded options which is for your media yellow one the telephone options which is your green and then the navigation is in blue your car settings is in red and the white color is for all your car related you know basic settings so you have the first option is your radio and then the media option where you will find all your connectivity options in the source so in terms of the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system using the bluetooth and also the usb and there is also wireless android auto and apple carplay so it has made it its way into this car as well and that's one good thing and once we continue there's a telephone option then there is inbuilt navigation system as well so it's the decent navigation system i would say it's not the snappiest one but yes still decent enough if you are not going to be using the android auto and not the google maps from that but otherwise yes you can use this navigation system as well it's pretty straightforward there are phone apps when you're connected to the android auto apple carplay then the car option in which you will find your different drives every option for your car basically so you have the audi drive select so you have different driving modes on this one and there is also a button which is given at the bottom so you can press from there and also drive select the different driving modes that are given on this one so the different driving modes that you get on this rs3 are your efficiency your sport your auto your dynamic and the rs individual and the rs performance and at the bottom you will find your rs torque rear which is like a temporary mode where you can switch all the power to the rear wheel so if you want to drift and have a little bit of an exciting time you can do that as well and as i mentioned the rs individual and the rs performance mode can also be customized so you can you know change the torque splitter your drive system suspension individual there's a lot of settings the steering engine sound traction control whereas in the performance it's more fixed type so you can change suspension steering and the traction control system so that is pretty much about it then when you go back you have the rs monitor which basically monitors all your different conditions like you know your temperature your g meter and then the tire pressure loss and everything then there is the ac settings then the lights and the vision so you can change the lights on this exterior lighting or the background lighting on this rs3 from this one so you can change the automatic headlights or the background lighting that the mood lights which are given you can change all of that from your itself so that also can be changed from your and there is also the parking aid there is also the driver assist the different safety systems which are given that you can customize from your your settings and service your favorites and when we go back you can go into your favorites option and the day-to-day -day settings options where there is the general option the display and brightness where you will find your cockpit dimming options your heads up display so on this rs3 you also get a heads up display which is pretty bright and crisp and it shows you a fair bit of information that way so in terms of the information in the heads up display you can see your speed limiter you can see your heads up display and also if there is an rs layout it will show you the oil temperature and everything that has been shown on there and also the navigation controls as well and you can get adjust the height and you know the brightness of the heads up display as well and then there is the audi virtual cockpit and the mmi which is this entertainment system and then there is the sound system so on this rs3 you get bang and olufsen 3d surround sound system and it is absolutely a must if you are going to spend a lot of time in your car because this is a very good system to have it sounds incredible then there is the system maintenance connected and all your day-to-day -day basically options navigation telephone contacts and all these settings which are there for your regular day-to-day -day operation of the screen there are also shortcut buttons which are given on the sides for your home your radio your uh, uh media then the phone and also the navigation shortcut there is also a swipe down menu option where you can see your notifications and everything and also the account and the wi-fi control so the guest account or your own account so in this case it's my account that has been synced right now so it's my name and 
different accounts that have used on this car as well and there is also a instead of a dial for your volume knob and everything there is like a dial that is given out here right next to the the gear lever so gear switch so that's like a touch control so you can just swipe and increase the volume or you can decrease the volume you can switch it off or you can mute it and change the track so that is given out here at the bottom so again i find it to be quite convenient because i can easily just you know swipe and you know do stuff with it now there are also more buttons as i mentioned given at the bottom of this air conditioning control so this is for your drive select then your traction control and also the engine switch off start stop button then there is the parking lights and also the the parking related feature which is your park assist and everything which is available on this car there is also this small gear lever shifter which has been given so that's also pretty easy to use it's just you put it in d and reverse and the parking mode and it's like a small switch that has been given yeah it gives you more space out here as well but then yeah you have to get used to the driving style with this switch as well now when you come to the usb connections you get two type c usb ports which are given out here underneath the air conditioning controls and a wireless charger which has been given as well and there are also two more type c usb ports which are optional extra which are given for the rear passenger there's also one 12 volt power socket that has also been given out here in the center console now when you come to the storage in the door cards you can put about one liter worth of bottle and very tiny storage on the size storage is a bit okay ish i would say on this car and there are also two cup holders which are given out here again they are flexible ones but not just that you can fold these rings and you can make them like a single storage option where you can put your phones and wallets there's also one more dedicated area to store your keys this charging pad which you can use to store your phones and everything then there is this glove box which is decently big and there's also this center armrest in which you can store your phones and wallets again that's a slidable one but it covers one of your cup holders as well there's also one small storage which is given out here on the driver side next to that at the bottom where you can store your wallets and stuff again not the phone but just the wallet and on this audi rs3 you get a normal sunroof and it's still a pretty big one i would say because the size of it is quite bigger than the usual sunroof that you get so yeah i mean that's one of the least i mean options that i usually use let me know in the comment section below do you use your sunroof a lot or is it just me that i don't use it so yeah I'll, I'll wait for your comments as well there's also an sos button that has been given for emergency purposes so if you get stuck somewhere or any medical emergency you can press that button and get some help around now in terms of the seats you get these black color leather seats in this honeycomb design which is given at the bottom and even in the backrest as well and these are the sporty seats so they have the fixed headrest as well and these this honeycomb structure and also the rs embossing that has been given on the backrest that is like an optional extra which has been given on this rs3 but these seats are decently comfortable i would say they are sporty so yeah they give you good amount of you know side support also when you are in in it and yeah for longer journeys also they are quite comfortable not just that the bottom of this seat is also extendable so you get that extra bit of thigh support during the longer journeys so yeah you can extend and get that as well now in terms of the adjustability the driver side seat is eight way electronically adjustable and also four way lumbar control and also the passenger side seat is exactly the same ones which is your eight way electronically adjustable and four way lumbar control now this rs3 has been increased by a mere 35 millimeters but then yeah all of that space is all utilized to give you that extra bit of space you know inside and also especially for the rear passenger as you can see there is like decent amount of knee room all my knees are almost touching the seat but yes there is still the this much amount of you know, space out here the seats also have a bit of a cutout so that gives me an additional bit of knee room as well the headroom again yeah i'm almost kind of brushing my head against the ceiling there are also cutouts given in the ceiling so that it gives you that extra bit of head space because the roof line is uh, sloping there is a reduction in the headroom as well but yeah somewhere about six feet might just start brushing their head definitely against the the ceiling as well in the back you get the same leather seats black color one in this honeycomb design as well and they are pretty soft but then i find them to be a little on the lower side and which is why you see my legs are making like a very sharp angle that way and there's not much of a support underneath my thigh as well and the seats are rather comfortable the same way it was in the front as well because the front seats are sporty the headrest is fixed so you can't see much from there yeah you really have to like 
you know move to the side and then see in the front but there's also the middle seat available but there is a bit of a tunnel that has been given because this is quattro all-wheel drive system that has been given on this one so there's a bit of a tunnel that is out here but not much to hinder the middle passenger but yes there's a bit of a hum that is in the back but not in the bottom of the seat where you're going to be sitting and your bums are going to be resting but yeah where your back is going to be resting that has a bit of a bum and my head is now yeah kind of it's already brushing my head is already brushing the ceiling so yeah it's more of for four people and the middle one is more of a temporary arrangement that way but when there is no middle passenger you can fold down the handrest and there are two flexible cup holders which are given out here and it's pretty broad that way on either side there is a thickness enough and it's mounted vertically which is a very clever thing so you can utilize the handrest as well where you can even store your drinks out here as well so even that's a good thing in terms of the storage as i mentioned it's very small door bins which are given out here and you can put like half a liter to one liter water bottle and very tiny storage and after that there are also these netted storage which are given in the driver and the passenger side seat so that's about it in terms of the storage and the two cup holders there are also two air conditioning vents which are given out here and the the climate control dial that has been given like you can just increase the heat or the cooling effect that's about it so because as i said this is an optional extra that has been given along with the two type c usb ports which are again an optional extra which are given on this rs3 but yes overall the door quality out here in the back is just made out of normal plastic but there is still this suede kind of material that has been given and where you're going to be resting hand again that's a soft bit but otherwise everything else is just yeah nearly plastic so yeah that's about it but anyways this car isn't about you know sitting in the back and discussing but it's more about being in the driver's seat and checking that five cylinder 2.5 liter turbocharged engine so let's go for a drive and here we are finally driving the rs3 and the first thing to do is to put this car into rs performance or the individual mode the performance has traction control off so yeah because the road surface is sandy so i might yeah damage by slipping or something but it, yeah i'm gonna do it for a brief moment i'm gonna show everything so yes so the main reason that you buy an rs3 is of course you wanted to use it as a daily driver and all of that comfort or all that jazz but the main reason is because you want to do this oh, because under the front bonnet sits a 2.5 liter five cylinder turbocharged engine that is rally inspired and this engine produces 400 horsepower and 480 newton meters of torque and this can do 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds and this engine is also mated to a seven speed dual clutch transmission which powers all the four wheels through an all-wheel drive system which is audi's quattro all-wheel drive system which is again a very good thing yeah and not just that you can even get a bit of a rear wheel drive action as well so let me do first that so when i go into the drive select i have the torque rear settings which gives me a bit of rear yeah so i can do a bit of a slidey thing as well if i want to and that is for a brief moment that i can do that so that's your torque thing and then you go back and then you come into the same go on yes the rs individual mode now you can customize that mode and do a lot more things but let me first come to the engine because this is a phenomenal thing and the chassis oh my god it's so good and you can just yeah that sound that keeps turning from that five cylinder is such a thumping one it's a thrilling engine and the whole transmission itself is so good and you can really push this car as much as you like and it will just deliver you on and on and on and the best bit is you can put this car into the paddle shifter more and now you have more control over the car not just through those individual driving modes because that's the bit which is again more exciting because look at this i can just <laughs> hear that exhaust note now i mean there is a bit of a artificial sound that's blasting from the speakers but still there's a lot more natural noise from that exhaust note 
so yeah this thing is not it's, it's actually proper oh and the gear shifts are crisp they are so snappy like you can just instantly move to different gears whenever you want it this is what you want for a track day car if you want to track this car properly so you can do that as well so yes all that is possible it's a proper mental car rs is meant to do that and this car will definitely do that for you so in terms of the suspensions yes they are on the harder side but i don't care because it's again all about performance yet they are if you put this in the normal comfort mode they do become subtle with these leather seats it's still comfortable and on the track itself it's a very because these are adaptive suspensions that you get and not just that there's also the adaptive chassis control which is an optional extra which has been given on this one so you can do a lot more things and get the control out of this car so it's actually i i mean i don't mind it's on on road it's pretty comfortable to me at least i don't know maybe it's just me because i'm just going nuts over this car but yes it's a little harder i would say that it i'm not gonna lie yes but again as i said it's all about the performance and let me do a slalom and actually show you how how much of a control you can get out of this car because yes it's got a a lot of agility it's got a lot of control oof it turns so sharply i mean you got to be prepared to you know handle this car and when you come to the steering again brilliant steering setup even though this is an electronic one but it's so direct there is good amount of feedback so much of weight to it and yeah it's very precise and you can actually see the yeah the movement where your car is going and the only thing is that it's got a very big turning circle that's the only thing but again i don't care because this car is all about the performance and on track this thing will perform very well and that's for sure now when you come to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this rs3 with the added brake calipers which have been given which give you that extra bit of additional performance and to demonstrate you the power of these brakes let me do a 100 to 0 emergency braking stop and show you how good these brakes are whoa they really grip well i mean they are proper proper sport performance brakes and there is also belt tensioner there is also emergency stop signal that comes up so all of that safety tech is also in here as well so mm, i mean i'm i'm really finding it hard to find any flaws but there is one more and that is that there is a bit of a clunkiness when you start to accelerate from like you know zero so yeah that takes a little while to Oh there were some kids which are standing and they were like waving and jumping seeing this yellow color car. So yes, continuing. Yes, there's a bit of a clunkiness when you start initially this car when it starts to, you know, change gears or shifting down is a little bit it takes a little while that is what I found. So yeah, anyways, you can just take the manual control and you can drive this using the paddle shifters as well. So yeah, then it's not going to be an issue. When you come to the noise and the vibrations again that is also all right the sweet noise of that five cylinder engine is going to be around and that's the best tune that you want to hear there are also occasional pops and bangs that you can hear and also coming to that all wheel drive system that also assists you a lot in terms of the handling of this car because that gives it a brilliant piece of handling and combined with this suspension adaptive suspensions and the chassis control everything is just perfect and set up for the right conditions which is the track day now in terms of the performance because there is a lot of it from this car so in terms of the fuel economy you will do anywhere between 10 to 10 and a half or up to 11 when you are driving it normally and not like a hooligan but when you decide to go into that bazooka mode which is this rs mode So then your efficiency would be yeah, tend to fall down to anywhere between 6 to 7 km per liter but again yes that's the you know kind of thing that will happen because it's a performance car and not your everyday car it's it's got a dual character to it so yeah you got to accept that as well and let me put this into the RS performance and my traction control is now off and I have everything dialed up to the maximum and now when I go oof Oh, this thing is just electric like the moment i dab the throttle a little bit it just wants to fly 
<laughs> this is incredible this thing is a piece of joy now again i keep getting distracted now when you come to the noise and the vibrations yes this is the engine sound that's the only noise and the vibration that you will hear and the other bits are uh, there's a little bit of the wind whooshing from around these windows that's the only thing but again i don't mind i mean it's it's just that engine sound is going to cover all of those things for what that noise is coming and when you come to the safety systems now you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger there are also two curtain airbags again in the frames and there is also child isofix points in both the rear seats there is also the audi pre sense that you get there is also a single camera reversing system again that is all right a little bit you know grainy but i mean again not a problem for me there is also this safety systems in terms of the belt tensioner and there is also the emergency stop signal there is also abs there is also ebd there is every single system that you want and you get all of that on this car as well even though this is a poor like a race year car but yet you still get all of that now when you come to the pricing of this audi rs3 the standard one without any optional extras would set you back by 267000 645 then i'm going to put the exact price on your screen whereas with this optional extras this car is worth 290000 dirhams with all that black pack and you know, additional bit of usb ports and all of that stuff now to be honest i feel every penny is worth it because yeah this thing only when you drive only when you look at it in this exact color and the spec you will realize how good this car is because it's got so many things that it can do without even you know needing much changes to it it's got the suspension it's got the steering setup it's got the right modes it's got everything and it's got the response that you need from a fast car but also it can become a comfortable car as well relatively comfortable car i would say so that you can drive it for everyday use so for that yes this car is a brilliant thing this car is fun this car is fast this car has the character and not just that when you need it to be efficient and also when you need it to be affordable in terms of its running cost it's also got that so for that this is a definite win win so and when you want to have a bit of a fun after maybe dropping your kids you can do this as well and for that i think this car is brilliant anyways that's pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe